Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with the next review of the Terror in the Isles Challenge. This time, Jason and I watched The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You like head cheese? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a 1974 horror film directed by Toby Hooper, and obviously it's featured in Terror in the Isles. What can I say about this one that hasn't been said before? It's a classic. It's one of the big five slasher franchises. And this is the film that started it all. In fact, out of those big five slasher franchises, this was the first movie out of all of them. I guess I never really thought about that. After hearing some graves had been desecrated where her grandfather was buried, Sally Hardesty, along with her boyfriend Jerry, her wheelchair-bound brother Franklin, and her friends Pam and Kirk, head out to the cemetery. When they're done checking out the gravesite, they pick up a hitchhiker and stop at a place that claims to serve the best local barbecue. Head cheese, anyone? Ultimately, they decide to visit the abandoned farm that Sally and Franklin's grandfather had owned. It is there where they find another farmhouse just across the land. There are abandoned cars all around, and bones, lots and lots of bones. There's also a chainsaw-wielding maniac inside, Leatherface. You know where the story goes from here. One by one, they are picked off by Leatherface with his trusty chainsaw and other weapons of choice. Even Franklin in his wheelchair gets sawed up. You have to admit, it's kind of satisfying. Franklin is a very annoying character. It all leads up to probably the greatest chase scene in horror movie history. Say what you will about what I'm about to say, but Sally Hardesty is probably one of the best final girls in all of horror. Eat your heart out, Laurie Strode. Seriously, though, Sally in this one movie goes through way more than Laurie goes through in all of her appearances in the Halloween franchise. Leatherface is iconic and super scary in this one. He's probably at his scariest here, if I'm being honest. The movie is raw and gritty, and it looks like a snuff film or a documentary. It's one of those movies that just belongs on VHS. This, by the way, is the media VHS release. I've always loved this cover art. The dinner scene is classic. Grandpa going to work is unforgettable. And the ending is hauntingly terrifying. It has stuck with me ever since the first time I saw The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's amazing how well this movie still holds up. And for that reason, I almost want to say it's somehow underrated. I know, I know, it's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It gets a lot of praise. But still, I stand by that. I think for some reason, seeing the sequels over the years has changed people's opinions on this one. It shouldn't, because ultimately, this movie doesn't change because of movies that follow it. As a standalone, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is still an incredible piece of horror cinema. Historic, even. And I'm reminded of how good it is every time I watch it. Here come the haters, but I'm recommending The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. This was Toby Hooper's 1986 follow-up to his original and he purposely changed the tone. I know that's the biggest gripe a lot of people have about this one, but it was his choice. It was his creation, and that's why I think it's important to watch The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2 after watching the original. Seeing the two back-to-back -back is how Hooper intended it. You don't have to like it, but you should at least appreciate what he was trying to do. The opening scene of Part 2 on the bridge is so good. And TCM2 is infamously known for having one of the greatest jump scares in horror. And then there's of course this amazing VHS cover art, imitative of The Breakfast Club. 
This cover alone proves this movie takes pride in what it is. Again, you don't have to like it, but I sure do. What are your thoughts on the original, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Comment below and let me know. And please be sure to check out Jason's review. You like reviews? We have another one coming soon for The Terror in the Isles Challenge. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>